Yeah, I'm playing Tantra for Hunger. Today we're we'll, we'll be reading Second Chronicles 24 from the New National Version, also known as NIV Version. If you guys want to go and read along, you guys can go to the class by giving it a little call. Or you guys can go, go ahead and go here on the Bible. I don't really care how you guys can do it. Let's get started. Second Chronicles 24 in the New National Version, NIV. Joash repairs the temple. Joash was seven years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem 40 years. His mother's name was Zebiah. She was from Beersheba. Joash did what was right in the eyes of the Lord all the years of Jodiah the priest. Jodiah chose two wives from him, and he had sons and daughters. Some time later, Joash decided to restore the temple of the Lord. He called together the priests and Levites and said to them, Go to the towns of Judah and collect the money due annually from all Israel to repair the temple of your God. Do it now. But the Levites did not act at once. Therefore, the king summoned Jodiah the chief priest and said to him, Why haven't you required the Levites to bring it from Judah and Jerusalem the tax imposed by Moses? the servant of the Lord, and by the assembly of Israel, for the tent of the covenant law. Now that the sons of that wicked woman, Ataliah, had broken into the temple of God, and had used even the sacred objects for the bowels, objects for the bowels, at the king's command, a chest was made and placed outside at the gate of the temple of the Lord. A proclamation was then issued in Judah, and Jerusalem, that they should bring to the Lord the text that Moses, the servant of God, had required of Israel in the wilderness. All the officials and all the people brought their contributions gladly, dropping them into the chest until it was full. Whenever the chest was brought in by the Levites to the king's officials, they saw that there was a large amount of money. The royal secretary and the fit officer of the chief's priest would come and empty the chest and carry it back to its place. They did this regularly and collected a great amount of money. The king of Jehoiada, Jehoiada gave it to those who carried out the work. Required for the temple of the Lord, they hired masons and carpenters to restore the Lord's temple, and also workers in iron and bronze to repair the temple. The men in charge of the work were diligent, and their repairs progressed under them. They rebuilt the temple of God according to its original design and reinforced it. When they had finished, they brought the rest of the money to the king and Je Jehoiada, and with it, were made articles for the Lord's temple, articles for the service and for the burnt offerings, and also dishes. And other Objects of gold and silver. As long as Jehoiada lived, burnt offerings were presently continually in the temple of the Lord. Now Jehoiada was old and full of years, and he died at the age of 130. He was buried with the kings in the city of David because of the good he had done in Israel for God in his temple. The wickedness of Joash. After the death of Jehoiada, the officials of Judah came and paid homage to the king, and he listened to them. They abandoned the temple of the Lord, the God of the ancestors, and worshipped Asherah poles and idols. Because their guilt, God's anger came on Judah and Jerusalem. All the, the Lord sent prophets to the people to bring them back to him. And though they testified against him, they did not listen. When the Spirit of God came on Zechariah, son of, son of Jehoiada, the priest, he stood before the people and said, This is what God says. Why do you disobey the Lord's commands? You will not prosper. He has forsaken the Lord. He has forsaken you. But they plotted against him, and by order, of the king they stoned him to death in the courtyard of the Lord's temple. King Joash and I remember, remembered the kindness Ze Zechariah's father Jodai had shown him. He killed his son, who said, as he le lay dying, May the Lord see this and call you to account. As at the turn of the year, the army of Aram marched against Joash, and it invaded Judah and Jerusalem, killed all the leaders of the people. They sent all the plunder to their king in Damascus. Although the Aramean army had come with only a few men, the Lord delivered into their hands a much lar larger army. Because Judah had forsaken the Lord, the God of the ancestors, judgment was executed on Joash. When the airmen withdrew, they left Joash severely wounded. His officials conspired against him for murdering the son of Jehoiada, the priest, and they killed him in his bed. So he died and was buried in the city of David, but not in the tomb of the kings. Those who conspired against him were Zabad, son of Shemiath, and Amorite woman, and Je Jehozabad, son of Shemiath, a Moabite woman. The count of his sons, the many prophecies about him, and the record of the restoration of the temple of God are written in the annotations on the book of the kings, and Amaziah his son succeeded him as king. Okay, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click the like button, make sure to click the like button, and share our post. We really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.